The first chapter of my webcomic, Pisarity, is out now. I know it used to be called Death's Apprentice. Don't worry about it. It's complicated. But now it's called Pisarity. And it's out now on tapas at tapas.io slash series slash Pisarity or at pisarity-comic.com. Hello, Theo here. And today's artwork is actually going to exist in real life and not just on my computer. That's right, we're making custom Funko Pops. So a few years ago, I was really obsessed with collecting Funko Pops, and I still have a ton of them. And they're not really getting any use, and a lot of them aren't even for series I particularly care about anymore. So I decided to try to personalize them. So I will be making custom Funko Pops of Ollie and Phoenix from my comic Pisarity. Just as a disclaimer, this is not by any means a tutorial. I had a huge amount of trouble with this, and I will link in the description down to the tutorial I followed, but please don't take me as a word of advice, ever. I had two pop figures that I wanted to use. One was of Newt Scamander from the Fantastic Beasts series, and one was of Harry Potter. I realized that if I switched around the heads and added some accessories and clothing using Sculpey and then painted them, I would be able to make them resemble my characters the best. So I started with a quick little mock-up in Procreate where I digitally edited the pop figures to look like my characters just so I had a guide of what I needed to do. And then came the long and arduous process of decapitating the pop figures and switching around their heads in order to better fit my twisted desires. I'll spare you the details. They're taking a bath. Once I had all the parts disassembled, I was able to start making Sculpey clothing and shoes for these characters. It took me a little while to get the cloak for Phoenix to look right, but once I got it done, it looked alright, and I was pretty happy with it, so then I baked them. After that came painting. Okay, so full disclosure, I completely forgot to film the entire painting process. <laughs> Please accept these videos of my cats as an apology. Anyway, for the painting, I just used cheap acrylic paints and had to do a couple coats on most parts to make them match. With that done, I was able to use super glue to reassemble everything. After that, I went outside to find some sticks for my garden to build some accessories. And drum roll, please. Here's the final product. I know they don't look super professional, but I'm so, so happy with how this turned out. This was a really fun project. It really brought me outside of my comfort zone. I usually don't work with 3D stuff at all, so I was so happy to see that these turned out all right. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and it really, really means a lot to the channel if you even share the video with your friends. Seriously, it helps me grow so much, and I really appreciate it. And as always, please have a fantastic day.